whoever has Jesus has life But whoever does not have Jesus does not have life I met the owner of my life at the cross of Calvary He introduced himself to me His name is Jesus He come and tell me, say, if only I believe spirits in your father's house. It has been said for you from heaven that you will be great in your academics and finally emerge as the first doctor in your father's lineage. It has been therefore we concluded that this must not come to reality. You must not fulfill your destiny. into you the spirits of death <laughs> spirits of death spirits of death spirits of death Thank you, Holy Spirit. I bless your holy name. For in Jesus' name we pray. Mighty good you are. Whoever has Jesus has life. But whoever does not have Jesus does not have life. I met the owner of my life at the cross of Calvary. He introduced himself the to me. The result of the preliminary round of the international mathematics competition of which the two of you represented the school is out. I am glad to announce to you that both of you are successful. Grace Bangali, congratulations. Thank you, sir. He doesn't share his blood you just to set you free. In fact, this wonderful performance made the school to emerge as overall best. So our school will be representing the South in the next phase of the competition coming up in Freetown in the next three weeks. We are really proud of you both. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. You're welcome. As you know, this is just the beginning because our ultimate goal is that both of you will do better than this in the next phase of the competition 
which will qualify us to represent the country in the final phase of the competition. That will be coming up in the United States of America in the next two months. We will study hard and make our school proud. Once again, congratulations. I met the owner of my life at the cross of Calvary. He introduced himself to me. Yes, dear. Oh, I thank God for you. I'm so happy and proud of you. Since your father died, you've been the source of my happiness. Thank you very much. Congratulations for the outstanding performance for the last competition. I am proud of you. Thank you, Mom. I promise to make you proud and never to disappoint you. That's my dear. Grace, my daughter. Life without Christ cannot last. Such life will easily fall prey to satanic plans. You have to really take your time. Grace, your academic performance should not replace that of Jesus Christ in your life. You really need to surrender your life to Jesus. My daughter, you should not get involved in any unholy relationship. Sex outside marriage is a cause. It can destroy the life of anybody that gets involved into it. Grace, my daughter, you really have to be careful. And please don't forget, if anybody tells you he wants you to be his girlfriend, don't hesitate to tell me. I'm your mother, you can confide in me. There is time for every purpose, okay? Please. Okay, mom. Thank you, mom. Uh-huh, let's not forget when you promised to buy me for. Oh my good God. Okay. I met the owner of my life yeah. at the cross of Calvary. He introduced himself to me. His name is Jesus. Dad, I'm coming. Son, come. Dad, I'm here. was it? I've told you time and again how you should be mindful of your dear school. You are an ambassador for Christ, and we go you in that manner. But dad, these days they are so concerned over my dress code. Ah, this is not how you should dress when you go out. But I'm going for my club meeting, dad. In all you do, you must represent Christ. And the name of God must be glorified. This was how again you have an attack the other day. I met the owner of my life at the cross of Calvary. He introduced himself to me. His name is Jesus. He come and tell me, say, if only I believe. You really need Jesus in your life. The Bible says, remember the Lord in the days of your youth. Peter, life without Jesus is open to satanic attacks, manipulation, and oppression. It is only in Jesus that you can get total security and safety. Peter, I want to beg you to consider your ways before God and surrender your life to Christ. Rose, are you telling us that you are still a virgin at this age of yours? Yes, of course. Or oh, is there anything bad in that? <laughs> you, a virgin. Seriously, this is unbelievable. Holy Mary, Mother of God. You are lying. In fact, you are a big liar. Me, a liar. I promised God and my parents to keep my virginity till the time I will get married. You, what are you keeping? And for who? <laughs> Look here, girl. Are you thinking at all? How on earth do you think it's even possible? That was how I was thinking years back until I faced the reality. Was it not doing the third time holiday yes. that I lost my virginity? Is it showing on my body? Look here, girl. You need to wake up. Of course, yes. You need to wake up. Ha! Ah, why are you guys glorifying the loss of your virginity at this stage of your youth? It's against the will of God for your life as youth. And if you are not even afraid of this. Dangers that are commonly sex outside marriage. Mm -hmm. Not only that, the Bible made me to understand that our body is the temple of our Lord Savior Jesus Christ. And you both are prone to deadly disease and unwanted pregnancy. Pregnancy! <laughs> <laughs> you, 
Rose, just take a look at yourself. Who have been brainwashing you with all this your rubbish? Mm. Just take to our instruction and you will surely enjoy it. Of course, Rose. You will enjoy it. Eh? Enjoy what? What did you just say? Enjoy fornication, frustration, disappointment, above all deadly diseases like HIV. Is that what you call enjoyment? Go for bid, I reject it. I will never trade my virginity for any momentary pleasure. Go for bid. Come on, girl. Let's go. Let's go. Village. Peter. I want to beg you to consider your way before God and surrender your life to Christ. Are you ready for Christ? Hey, Peter. Grace. Please excuse me, Daniel. I'll be back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Peter, you have not done well at all. I've been looking for you all around the school premises, but here you are talking. Have you forgotten that we have to study? I'm so sorry. Can we quickly do something now? The break is almost over. What can we do now? In fact, it's impossible. Okay then. Can we fix it for tomorrow? After school hours, we'll have a lengthy time to study. Okay, that means to talk to my mom so she can allow me to stay after school. Too. I think that would be nice. Okay, let's have Grace, I've planned to give you something today. What is it? Whoever has Jesus has life. But whoever does not have Jesus does not have life. Hey, Kelly one, Kelly one. What's up? Yeah, this guy got so many girls. Oh, I need to go. Let's 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 go. let us go and make me new person Commit to honor of your life Died on the cross of Calvary He died and shed his blood for you Just to set you free Who in that child you say If only you believe In go change your life And make you new person Mighty, mighty God Mighty, mighty God The way I keep remember This way you have choose to take can destroy you. It might even end your life. The Bible says narrow is the way that leads to eternal life. And broad is the way that leads to destruction. God has greater plans for your life. He has given you a glorious and brighter future. Whoever has Jesus has life. But whoever does not have Jesus does not have life. Yeah. I met the owner of my life at the cross of Calvary. He introduced himself to me. His name is Jesus. He come and tell me, say, if only I believe, he will change me life. And make me new person. Commit to honor of your life. Died on the cross of Calvary. Anyone ever told you that you are beautiful? I love and adore you so much. Ever since I set my eyes on you, I was certain that there are never again any pictures which are image as you. I want us to be together with love from Peter. Hey, oh, wait, what does this boy mean that he loves and adores me? And he wants us to be together. As what? Judith, 
Am I to be beautiful? Of course. Wow, so someone can tell me that I'm beautiful. You are pretty. Uh-huh. It's beauty. Uh-huh. Celebrity. Uh-huh. My friend, you are very beautiful. Thank you. I feel so happy. I feel oh. Someone is calling. Who is it? Peter. <laughs> Go on, pick the call. Okay. Hello there, how are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. I'm still expecting your response. On what? Don't be kidding. I love and adore you. Just reply me. I want you to be my girlfriend. Okay, I... Hello, Grace. Are you still there? I... Hello, Grace. Are you still there? Okay, just tell me you love me too. I... I love you. Yes. What? Lord of Jesus, who are you in love with? Mom, it's been to my friend, you know her. Grace! Are you sure? Yes, ma'am. I had a revolution about you, walking in the path of death. Be careful, Grace. Are you hiding something from me? No. I hope so. The two of you be careful. Okay. There is more to do. May the good God be. Peter, the questions are too many. Grace, you have to study hard. Just a moment, please. I want to use the rest of Can I escort you? But why? Do you know what you're saying? Of course, yes. See, Grace, I love you. You mean everything to me. You are my love, my world, my life, and my everything. Grace, I love you so much. <laughs> Sex does not kill. No, no, no. I hope I'm not getting pregnant. How would I even tell my mom? And she warned me. Bless my daughter. Life without Christ cannot last. Such life will easily fall prey to satanic plans. You have to really take your time. Grace, your academic performance should not replace that of Jesus Christ in your life. You really need to surrender your life to Jesus. My daughter, you should not get involved in any unholy relationship. Sex outside marriage is a problem. Rose, are you telling us that you are still a virgin at this age of yours? Yes, of course. Or is there anything bad in that? <laughs> You, a virgin. Seriously, this is unbelievable. Holy Mary, Mother of God. You are lying. In fact, you are a big liar. Me, a liar. I promised God and my parents to keep my virginity till the time I will get married. You, what are you keeping? And for who? <laughs> Look here, girl. Are you thinking at all? How on earth do you think it's even possible? That was how I was thinking years back. Until I faced the reality. Was it not during the Sultan holiday that I lost my virginity? A bit shine on my body. Look here, girl. You need to wake up. Of course, yes. You need to wake up. Ha! Who are you guys glorifying the loss of your virginity at this stage of your life? It's against the will of God for your life as you. And if you are not even afraid of danger that are coming sex outside marriage, not only that, the Bible made me to understand that our body is the temple of our Lord Savior Jesus Christ. And you both are prone to deadly disease and unwanted pregnancy. Pregnancy! <laughs> I had a revolution about you, walking in the path of death. Be careful, Grace. Are you hiding something from me? You're healing provider. I am everything for you. Oh. Mm -hmm. yeah.
Cheerful at all. What is it? I'm okay, man. You are not okay. You are not really happy, and I'm not happy. Are you sure? Yes. I don't really want you to hide anything from me. Don't allow the devil to cheat you from hiding whatsoever you are going through from me. Please, what is it? What else do you want me to say? I'm fine. I'm just worried about the forthcoming competition. You don't need to worry yourself. That is why you need Jesus in your life. He is a teacher and he will surely show you where to study. Don't bother yourself, my daughter, please. Thank you, ma'am. But I just have to study my notes. I know. Let's keep it up. Grace! My dear son, we don't want the doctor's report to be fulfilled, that he won't survive this. Your healing is only in Jesus, our Lord and Savior. We received a shocking call this morning from Peter's parents that he is critically ill in the hospital. We don't want the doctor's reports to be fulfilled that you won't survive this. Your healing is only in Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. When your mom and I were praying for you before she traveled, the Holy Spirit ministered to us that the devil wants to claim your life. Son, you are no longer a baby. You need to cooperate with us and your maker, who alone has the power to save you from the sinners of the devil. My son, we don't want to lose you. I have a strong impression within me that you have something to confess before the Lord. If you confess your sin, I mean, the Bible says in Proverbs chapter 28, Verse 13. He that covereth his sin shall not prosper, but whoso confesseth and forsaketh them shall not prosper. I tell you the truth. They are your healing stars. Or do you want to die prematurely? So, for this reason, he will not make the trip to Freetown for the competition coming up tomorrow. This is the reason why we have to pick Dali in his stand. We shall contact your parents as soon as possible for proper notification and approval. Dad. Yes, son? Can God still forgive me? Definitely, yes. I am a fornicator. Jesus! I even fornicated three days ago with my study mate. Ah, ah, Peter. I am a thief. I also tell lies too. Peter, you have been walking in the path that leads to destruction, and your life is about to be scourged. With this your confession, are you now ready for Jesus to come into your life in this situation? Yes. Then say this prayer after me. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Thank you for dying for my sin. Thank you for dying for my sins. 
I accept your lordship over my life. I accept your lordship over my life. Forgive all my trespasses. Forgive all my trespasses. Write my name into the book of life. Write my name into the book of life. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, every plan of the enemy is resolved as he has given his life to you. May you protect him. You say, he that will is to you, your name is a strong tower, and the righteous shall be saved. God, protect my child. Save him from destruction. Bring him out of the darkness. Bring him from the hands of death. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray and commit him into your hand. No weapon formed against him shall prosper. He will live to declare the goodness of you in the land of the living. And he will be a child of God. Your destiny in his life must be fulfilled in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Son. For in Jesus' name I pray. This one. We'll be leaving for free time this evening for the competition. So make sure you do your best just to represent the school. Make sure you revise your notes and do necessary things. Jesus! What was that? Yes! God. Yes! Yes! What was that? Yes! 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 Whoever has Jesus has life. But whoever does not have Jesus does not have life. He introduced himself to me. His name is Jesus. He come and tell me, say, if only I believe, he go change me life. Susan, what are you doing here? I was expecting you to be at the hospital with Grace. Grace is dead. What? Don't tell me that. Grace is dead. No, no, no. Here's my ecstasy. It makes me feel high. Separate me from the love of Christ. Because oh, oh, oh. he's the reason. Nice.
that's my nigga. What's up, man? Where is Spirit now? Spirit is not picture back. Jesus has life, but whoever does not have Jesus does not have life. Ooh, yeah. I met the owner of my life at the cross of Calvary. He introduced himself to me. His name is Jesus. He come and tell me, say, if only I believe, he will change my life and make me new person. Commit to the honor of your life, died on the cross of Calvary. He died and shed his blood for you, just to set you free. Who in that time you say, if only you believe, it will change your life and make you new person. Mighty, mighty God. Mighty, mighty God. To me, no worry for nothing. That's what he said to me. I own the entire universe. Nothing no day wanna go ever do. I give up to the more blessed father, to the fatherless. Your healing provider. I am everything for you. Oh, cast your burden into him. No worry for nothing. Beyond the entire universe. Nothing you know that we we'll ever do No, 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 no We give up to the hopeless To father, to the fatherless You heal and provide Is everything for you Remember the first time, the first time. 
Forward! 